It was a sin for the sun to rise this morning. Spat from the peak of mountains and punctual sky, studied from fourth floor hospital, invading fourth floor breath. They arrested the mother today of the boy they found buried in a sandbox. The light from these miserable windows matches his exhumed sand-baked lightning skin. Cable news never shows the shadows. The penumbral rings of forever among jungle gym tombstones and the sibilant sighs of seesaws they found him. Someone with heavy words of sorrow and drugs like honey dripping off the chins of mama bears and death bundled onto shoulders put him there created a makeshift graveyard, tick-tack epitaph, a finger-drawn sand, he was there. My mother is here, struggling to breathe, fourth floor breath, struggling to be. It was a blasphemy for the sun to rise, for the bodies of children to be found is a sin for irony to exist. I wait here in the devastation of shadow between life and death as my mother drifts in a world I can't imagine. The television screen is a blind eye showing the faces of mothers and the double knotted shoe of a child embalmed by playground and sunshine. My mother, always the knuckle of a doubled knot, the magic of accidental procreation, always the dust of her blonde-headed dimple. She remains penumbral and forever. His remains are premature, desert-like. The desperation around his mother's handcuffs is stagnant and frothy like a collection of chide pools, ocean of no comments and uncomments, recollection of misplaced commas and broken, lifeless boys. The furrow of fourth floor brow comes to me in headaches and heartbreak, in coolness of morning, crabgrass sweat, and I wait for alleged to equal convicted, for fourth floor breath to replace homegrown. I wait to have my mother back from the handle of shoulder death. I wait for the sun to rise without sin, for the hope of double maternal not sack. I wait for a reason to trust. Thank you.